and water. It's a great way to cool off, but can also put your family in danger if you don't know what to look for. A 13 News fact finder, Brooke Wagner, has what you should know about toxic algae blooms. Brooke. Yes, Valerie, algae is in all types of water and it's not always dangerous. It can be helpful, but when it grows out of control, blue green algae can be poisonous to people and pets. This particular bacteria called cyanotoxins can cause breathing trouble, itchy eyes, rash, headaches, stomach distress, fever, and in rare cases, even death. And it's particularly deadly for dogs. Here's what you're looking for. Algae can resemble pea soup or green paint, scum on the surface or dots on or below the surface. Dry weather like we have in Arizona can actually make things worse because algae can be more concentrated in the heat and sun. You'll want to stay out of water that is discolored, slimy, smells rotten or has foam. Do not put camping gear in it. Check for advisories and signs at lakes, creeks and swimming holes. Boating and fishing are OK. And if you don't have contact with the water, that's the caveat. Cyanobacteria can also be on the shore, but you can't always see it. You can't really tell just by looking at a water body if it's safe because the US EPA says that water is toxic when cyanobacteria is present in 20,000 cells per milliliter. And that looks like this. You can't really see it. You can't see bacteria with the naked eye. So when in doubt, stay out. But what about your home pool? Green algae is pretty common and easy to get rid of, but what your pool cleaner might call black algae, if you ask, has the same toxins as in natural water bodies, and it can grow in pools. So you don't want to put anything in your pool that's come into contact with natural water sources. That includes water toys or wearing the same swimsuit. Black algae hooks into your pool's crevices or can look like spots or spores on the surface. Shocking the water will not get rid of it, so it's best to call a specialist for help. We have more resources, plus how to report blue-green algae if you see it with this story on our website. Brooke Wagner, 13 News Fact Finders. All right, thank you, Brooke.